Okay, I'm here at the Adobe Premiere screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real briefly show you how to load the uh, audio and video. The most important thing is two things. Actually, most important two things is one, have the audio and video already loaded on your computer, and number two, uh, don't move it because if you move it, then the program has to can't relocate it. Uh, we're going to go through the screen here a little bit too. But we have to name it. I'm going to call it Class Demo 2 because I think I already had a Class Demo 1. And it takes you to this screen and asks you, what do you want to call the sequence name? We're just going to call it First Shot. And it asks, uh, what do we want to set up with it right now? We're setting up in this standard 48 KHZ um, three different audio tracks, which we can always add more. Sample rate, uh, 48,000 samples a second. For the audio, it moves at 29.97 frames a second. So that is um, about an average video. I've always used this standard. The higher quality you get with it, uh, for example, if we go look at the digital packages real quick, make a 1080, a high digital quality, you're going to see some of these numbers jump. The frames per second did not necessarily jump. We go down, however, you see that some of the different numbers are jumping around a little bit. Like a 32 kilohertz only does 32,000 samples a second in the audio, so this is a higher audio grade. So we're going to use that. Jump over here to tracks. We can go here and add how many video and audio tracks we think we might need. And you can go all the way up to 99 tracks. We're going to just set it at 3 for right now. And we can also add audio tracks as well if we need them. And that is OK. And then we're just going to hit OK. And it's going to generate our program. Really, we may not need more than five or six. I think the most video and audio tracks I used was on that BPA video with about eight or nine. Okay, and here we are. So, to load clips and audio in, we go over here to Project Demo, and it asks us to find, create a new bin. A bin is a fancy name for a folder or a new item. The new item gives us different options on what we could add in. So we could add in the HD bars and tone. Let's see how this looks. So this is the HD bars and tone. So you drag that over and that's what you're used to seeing at the beginning. And it should play the audio. Good times. Uh, but let's go get the, um, a video clip from our computer and the find actually only searches within here to bring a clip in we have to go up to file and we want to import and it's going to give us a whole bunch of options on what to import so you see here's some previous videos I did uh, I, you can import both pictures and audio so I'm going to go it's called this PC now instead of my computer. And let's go see what video we have that is uh, really worth editing. Um, I'll just open up this video. You can bring in multiple videos. It's just a matter of what you want to bring in. And it's the same way with audio. So not that you won't believe me, but let me find, I don't know, some music, something short. And I believe the audio, let's go under iTunes. Actually, I didn't buy anything through iTunes. All of these are MP3s. So we'll go with, uh, I don't know, something fun here real quick. Vitamin String Quartet. The Rock and Roll Wedding. Uh, sweet child of mine. Okay, you get the idea. Now, here's the thing. When you drag audio over, it has to go on the audio tracks. 
and then the video here and you're gonna see a lot of the different skills we build with that as we go through and the biggest thing I'm gonna bring in a couple other clips and then we're gonna show you kinda of how to mix and match a little bit inside here